Hey, how you doing today? Hope you had a good day. I did. Welcome to Workshop Wednesday, where we talk about fishing, what we catch them on, all that good kind of stuff. Workshop Wednesday presented by Whitetail Smokeless. Check it out. DeerDip.com. And we talk about fishing, how to catch them. So here we go. What we talking about today? Spinnerbait fishing. Where to throw it, how to reel it in, what to throw it on, that kind of stuff. So here's the deal on where I like to throw spinnerbaits. I like to throw spinnerbaits everywhere. Wood, rock, uh, trees, grass, everything. I like to throw a spinnerbait when the fish are active. And uh, I generally like to throw it in, in dirty water. One thing I love, love when I'm throwing a spinnerbait is wind. Windy banks, windy points. Anytime there's a ripple on the water, wind pushing stuff up into the bank, that's when I grab a spinner bean. The reel I throw a spinner bean on is a Cast King Bassinet Elite. I like to tighten that drag down a whole bunch. I throw it on a 20 pound seagull line. 20 pound is perfect. It throws good, but it's strong enough you'll never break it off on a spinner bean. And on the rod, I throw a, a medium heavy rod. This is a Spirale from Cast King, 7 foot 4 inch. Length is personal preference. I prefer the uh, seven foot four because it lets me handle a bunch of line, make long casts, and uh, that's just what I prefer. But medium heavy is is, is key. You want uh, some tip to fuel that blade, and you want some backbone to fight that fish. So that medium heavy is is key. This is a spinner bait I throw most of the time. A lot of time. This is a three eighths ounce Crusher Cliff Crochet Petite spinner bait. And uh, plain Jane spinner baits got a real thin wire. But here's the deal with a spinner bait. It's all about those blades. It's all about those blades. In clear water, you want willow leaf type blades with a translucent clear color skirt. In dirty water, you want round blades like an Indiana blade. It gives you more uh, vibration than fish can find it in that dirty water. And uh, my favorite skirt is the white and chartreuse rubber skirt. You can go into a long conversation about blades and what blade combination to throw. Here's the deal. Find your, find your spinner bait and throw it. And then as you get as you get more uh, into fishing and detail, you can you can start uh, messing with blade combinations. But find your spinner bait, throw it. Here's where to throw it. Throw it past the, the target you're fishing at. Throw it past the tree, past the dock, past the piece of grass. Reel that spinner bait in. I like to keep it just out of just in sight on uh in the water just just where i can barely see those blades turning and flashing and the cool thing about that a lot of times you see them fish come up and bite the spinner bait and uh it's really exciting it's almost like a top water bite under the water because you get to see it but i throw that spinner bait past the piece of cover i reel that spinner bait nice and slow nice and steady to that piece of cover i try to hit that piece of cover with the spinner bait when i get to it i kind of twitch it or jerk it or or make that spinner bait kind of jump a little bit just give it a little, a little, a little tip, a little jerk on the tip. That spinner bait will just kind of, kind of flare. That skirt will flare. Those blades will kind of hit each other and jack up a little bit. And I'll keep reeling. When you're fishing with a spinner bait, main thing you want to do, you're reeling that spinner bait. You want to feel for those blades. If those blades ever stop turning, that's a bite. Sometimes they'll hit it real hard and bite it. Sometimes the blades will just stop turning. It's that's a bite. When the blades stop turning, that's a bite. You just want to start reeling a little faster and lean you don't want to set the hook real hard like you would with a jig or something you just want to reel and lean so that's my conversation on spinner baits today throw it cover water look for windy spots back of po backs of pockets where the wind's blowing windy banks windy points throw it past the cover slow and steady right where you can just keep it in sight watch that fish bite it steady hook set put more fish in the bowl I'll see y'all next week in the workshop.